So I wasn't planning on doing an intro like this uh, for this video, but because of the results I got from this print, I wanted to go ahead and just uh, kind of talk through some of the issues I had. So for this print, uh, this half of it, uh, this took four attempts, mostly due to the fact that there's a slightly uneven light distribution uh, from the projector. And so I had to crank up the exposure settings to actually get uh, the entire part to, uh, to tear properly. Uh, so I went through a couple iterations uh, getting the exposure settings right. For this part, uh, this is actually the first attempt. Uh, and what you'll see here is there's these big old blobs attached to this part, and that's because of the background exposure uh, from the projector. And so uh, this is the first time I've ever dealt with this. I've gone through a, a liter of fun-to-do resin and never had an issue like this. I'm using uh, Maker Juice uh, G Plus Yellow uh, here, and it's the first time this has ever happened. And really what's happening is, is the portions of the image that aren't actually your 3D print image uh, it's still slowly curing the resin, and every now and then it attaches to the part and you get this blob uh, stuck to it. Not a good thing. Uh, it doesn't necessarily ruin the part, but you have to go in and kind of clean it up. Uh, and it does uh, sort of, it affects the resolution of the part because the small details will be affected by that background exposure as well. So some of your finer details won't turn out quite as well. So I'm going to clean this up, but this is a, uh, both of these uh, halves, right, they're for a piece of uh, jewelry for Vietnamese jewelry company and so they asked to have a, a video done on their part and I gotta say this is one heck of a part. The uh, STL file was over 80 megabytes and so that was a dog to uh, even manipulate the CAD software just because it's so big but uh, there's a lot of detail in this and I'll put some pictures up and you can see there's details as fine as hair uh, that actually came out in the print and so I was pretty excited to see that but yeah so probably could have turned out better if I had used fun to do resin uh, I'm out of it, so I'm stuck with uh, G Plus uh, Maker Juice resin. In the future, I'll be using mostly just fun to do resin because it's easier to work with. Uh, it seems very clear that it's easier to work with. Uh, I'll probably have less failed prints. Uh, and like I said, I've never ever seen this happen uh, with fun to do resin. I've never had to deal with it. So um, I'll probably have to play with my projector settings a little bit, adjust the contrast, and uh, set up a mask to level out the unevenness of the light distribution. But that'll be for another day. All in all, right now, turned out pretty good. I'm uh, satisfied. It's just going to take a little bit of cleanup work to get rid of some of this junk. But anyways, enjoy the time lapse, and make sure you like and subscribe. <laughs>